asking me co-host there we go beautiful all right all right guys so what's the flavor i'm here to serve how can i help what? well you have some of my questions ahead of time that i sent mm -hmm. um and i loved the videos because they they help me now think, cause I have here, like, I know it's like handwritten, but this is like my little brainstorm of like what each mm -hmm. module could potentially look like. Mm. I don't know. Right? Huh? For your program? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm still struggling with understanding how much to give ahead of time pre-work, if you will, or what could be done ahead of time, what makes good content to give people ahead of time versus what makes good content for in-person or live, um, maybe it's a combination, yeah. um, or like how to think about those elements. Um, yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because there's a couple different styles of group coaching mm -hmm. um and i actually uh first of all i just want to validate you um this was my first like my program that i'm doing out this was like my <laughs> this is my program i don't know what the fuck it is yet like, but it's like look at my program <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a thing you guys want to take it and then that turned into like okay now i have like the weeks that kind of so it it's like you, you as you go, it fleshes out. So right now you have the bare bones, you have the yeah. structure. It's like, this week's going to be shame. This week's going to be this, this week's going to be breaking through your old pattern. Mm -hmm. And like, once you have the theme, then it's super easy to actually create the meat. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, how does it get easy? Oh yeah. I got you. Okay. Let, let, <laughs> let me pull up. Um, I think I have it. And while we tune into that, um, Tammy, I think this is going to be super valuable for you too. Are you, um, are you creating a course as well or a program or looking to it? Yeah. So, um, I'm sort of, uh, just a little background. I, before I came here, I told you I had done this whole other, I was in the health coaching area and I was, my people were like helping moms through anxiety and all this stuff. And I had actually created something, a program, but now doing elemental, I'm like, scratch it all. Like, I don't, you know, I would do something completely different. So um, I'm in that space now of not, and also because my master project was just being in joy, like I haven't been very much into the action step because before I think I was coming out of more of an ego place, like mm. I need to prove myself, prove, prove, prove. And so I completely dropped all the action and just being, but I feel like I am starting to get ready to, I really want to do this um, versus I should do this or I have to do this. Um, and so, um, yeah. And, and also I'm realizing the way I'm working with one-on-one -on -one, that in my life, it, this isn't going to work. I want to do more group coaching because I, I just can't make it happen on one-on-one. -on -one. I totally got you. Is it financially not feasible or like emotionally? No, I've got four kids and I just want to balance life. I want, yeah. I, yeah. I feel you. I, when I started Elementum, I literally was yeah. like, I can't do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore aside from like charging a lot because I don't have any emotion or time or energy. Like Elementum's taking up everything and my girlfriend yeah. and all that. Yeah. So I'm like, I need more people in the group and I need to charge more. So yeah. 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 Absolutely. Love but it. it is, um, um, it is a little overwhelming, you know, to do the group coaching thing. Yeah. So it's, thank you for doing this for us. I got you. This is, I love doing this. I love it. Jen, can you uh, give me, can you make me co-host so I can, uh, share yeah. um, let me just figure out how to do that. <laughs> yeah. So Jen, what I gave you and Tammy, I think I sent you it. Too. Yeah, you send it to me. I just haven't been able to watch. That's them. all good. It, it's on your own time. Thank um, you. so I've created, I have a whole 12 week. Yeah, we're good now. 
I have the whole 12 week program training coaches in hypnosis, neuro linguistic programming, emotional stuff. Um, I've studied with quite a few people before I got to Elementum. Um, so I think that's going to answer some of your questions uh, <clears throat> that you wrote to me, Jen. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on those. Okay. Um, but at the end, which is like week number nine mm -hmm. and 10 is like, I'm teaching them how to create group space. And the way that I frame it is like, it's the easiest, most simplest, least amount of work thing you can possibly do. Now, if you're going to be teaching something where it's like, you know, I'm going to be teaching you how to make 10 K in five days or some shit like that. Right. Where it's like, you need skills and you need this uh, system and you need to do this and this. And it's like, there's a lot of stuff they need to do. That's more of a class, but a really, really easy, simple way to create a group coaching container is just opening the space, holding the space and facilitating shifts in your clients. So uh, I'm going to show you kind of my, my framework for that, right? So these pictures are a little bit small. So give me one second. New open the copy. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it so I can just make the, the screens a little bit bigger. And I'm not messing with, with those who have the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this is my outline of successful group coaching space. This is what I've been doing for a very, like, you know, I've been doing this for like two years now and it just works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the container. So this is like the most important thing. And Preston actually touched on this in the um, uh, very first week. It's like, what is the context? Why are we here? We're gathered here today to X, Y, and Z, right? Um, now the way that I open and set, uh, the container is usually by opening sacred space, depending on the, the thing that we're doing. Right. Yeah. Me too. So I'm like, all right, everyone three deep breaths in and I lead them through a two minute guided meditation, connect them with the earth, connect them with the, you know, a sky above them. And then like for my paid group coaching containers, what I do is I call in the ancestors, I call in spirit guides. And then I just weave a golden bubble of love and protection around us. So it's like, once you pull the golden threads from the earth, golden threads from the, the sky, the spirit connected in your heart, and then pass it to your right, to the person. Imagine you're in a big circle with everyone, pass it to your right and receive from the left. And now what we're doing is we're weaving the energetic container together. Right. So we're literally creating, we are the space. Mm -hmm. So when someone shares, you can feel held by it. And when you are not sharing and listening, you're present and you're holding the space alongside me as the coach. Right. So that makes people feel safe to share, to be vulnerable, to crack out of their shell. <laughs> um, All your live, I'm, I'm assuming, like live coaching. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah. This is so. Yeah, I suggest before you create a evergreen program, which is like a class and you know this, test it first, do it in a live. So this is, this is my, this is what I, I've done. This worked. And I learned from uh, Daniel Leslie, who is a, uh, I mean, she's become a multimillionaire by teaching people how to create courses. And she learned her skills through working for Udemy, which is one of the biggest online courses. Oh, yeah creators yeah so she has this concept called mvp which is minimal viable product mm -hmm. and that comes from another book that she got it from but basically what you want to do is you just want to prove your concept before you spend a billion dollars on manufacturing something you want to make a hundred of them and make sure someone wants to buy it and then you get feedback and then you make it better then you do beta test number two then you get feedback right. and you make it better Mm -hmm. And then once you're like, I know I'm hitting all the pain points. I know I'm getting consistent results. Um, I have testimonials. I have reviews. Now I can condense it down into a lesson plan. And now I'm going to record a course. Then I get to sell it on Evergreen. But my 12 week coaching program started as a four week. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet. <laughs> You know, and then it was six weeks, but then it became eight weeks because I had too much information. 
Then the next round, I told him it was going to be an eight week program. I took two weeks out of the previous one because it didn't really resonate. I put two new weeks in and I created modules. So I don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. But I told him it was an eight week program and it became a 12 week program organically. Go ahead. Um, just a terminology clarification, mm -hmm. module versus masterclass mm -hmm. or mastermind mm, so versus, good. you know what I mean? I hear these things being, you know, tossed around and let's clarify what we're talking about. This is so good. I want to, I want to create, uh, I want to create a, a thing on this. Give me one second. Sure. That's such a beautiful question. And I am a hypnotist. So defining and redefining words is like, is my thing. I love it. Okay. So you said, um, module mastermind master class. So module mastermind master class, anything else? Can you think of anything, Tammy? Um, no. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So this is good. So a module, think about, um, think about like a lesson, right? So if you have eight modules, that's like within a module is like all the different things you need to know for that one subject. Okay. So within each of the uh, weeks in, in Elementum, one module is like it's shame. And so we have a workbook for that. We have the class, we have the immersion call. We have the homework, we have the assessments, we have all this stuff, and that's one module, right? So if you're talking about with your program, it's like if you're going to do, um, you know, let's take shame, for instance, but you want to spend two weeks on it, that's one module. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, a mastermind, um, I love that principle. Basically, what we're doing right now is kind of like a mastermind. So it's people come together with a similar intention. And they bounce the ideas off of each other. And the idea is the sum of the total is a multi multiplied. So me thinking on my own and you thinking on your own and Tammy thinking on your own is nowhere near as us just coming together and thinking together. So it's like we're multiplying our brain power with the power of the mastermind. We're creating this third bubble of ideas. Now, a master class. I mean, that can be a couple of different things, but um, the concept I think of is imagine someone who's been doing something for 20 years and they're a master or they've achieved something that most people haven't. It's like, you're welcoming a master into a space and they're going to teach you something. So that's a master class. Is it's that, kind of like a seminar. Is it like a webinar too? Just So people call webinars, master classes. Oh, okay. Because it's much more, this is where defining words comes in. Masterclass sounds so much better than webinar. If you go to a <laughs> webinar, they're going to sell you something at the end. Right, right. But if you call it a masterclass, what does that assume? The person teaching the class is a master. Gotcha. Right? And instead <laughs> of selling you something at the end, if it resonates with you, I have 90 minutes in this time together, right? I can't teach you 10 years worth of stuff in 90 minutes. I'm going to give you as much valuable value as I possibly can. And at the end of the call, for those who are ready to take the next step, I'm going to let you guys know where you can find the information you need. Sound good? Yeah, beautiful. So now you have their agreement to give them a sales pitch at the end too. Right? So I learned that little trick. That's fun. So are the master classes normally the free things? It depends. Uh, if you go like Mind Valley, does free master classes, yeah. you know, and they get someone really, really famous, really prominent, a uh, scientist, someone big in their field. It gets a lot of people in the space. They sell the course or they sell the subscription to Mind Valley, okay. right? Yeah. And there's like masterclass.com, which I think is, I think they charge for theirs. Yeah. So there's a bunch of different, bunch yeah. of different, um, uh, frameworks that you can use for it and different intentions behind it. Um, so that's kind of the, the overview with that. Let me find my, uh, my piece. So opening the container and you just give some context, you know, this is why we're here. 
creating the space. It's safe space. You share the, the whole culture is, is vulnerability. Sometimes you can lay out grind, ground rules. Um, I usually have three rules that you follow. Um, and that's just kind of the same thing I do every, every class. Um, let me find. Yeah. So then to structure the call, and this is where it's going to get really easy for you guys. Like, I guarantee you, Jen, all this fear and worry and like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I'm going to simplify it. And you're going to, you're going to, you're going to push this thing out and you're like, I'm really confident in this. Okay. So what you do is you just introduce a topic. What are we talking about today? This week is what, what's, what's your first week? What's your first topic? I'm finding our medicines. Finding our medicines. That's like, do you, even that, like, I would want to take that class, <laughs> finding your medicines, right? So if you're going to do that, so finding the medicines, that's the theme. So you have to set the stage and frame for the transformation. So this is where you can, uh, one of the frameworks, I think Rus Russell Brunson says, is tell a story, give a map, and then let them do an exercise. Right. So when you talk about the medicine, right, highlight the problem. So why do people need the medicine? Okay. Uh, I'm asking. Like, oh, you're actually what? asking. I'm trying to take you. notes. <laughs> it's live. No, this is good. I got you. That's why we have the replay too. All right. Yeah. Um, why do you need medicine? Well, because um we already have what we need inside of us to help us through difficult times and we all have our own unique set of medicines so Beautiful. we can call on them and bring them into our consciousness in order to be able to to sort of activate them yeah so i'm gonna take some notes too right so oh no call on the medicine we all have it inside of us. Let me get a couple of spaces here. So call in the medicine. What else did you say? We all have it inside us. What else? Uh, call in the medicine. Yeah, yeah, like to help us through difficult times. What's your, your ideal client avatar's most difficult time? What's the problem that they're coming to you? Um, if this is going to be based on my book, then most likely these are going to be women coming out of a significant relationship. Mm, look at you. Boom. That's, that's my, I love you. That's, that's Daniel, who, who are you speaking to? Um, if you, the reader of my book is most likely going to be a woman coming out of a significant relationship. Okay. Yeah. Come on. I just want to, I need like, I'm just, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I know. I, that's okay. I know. I know this pain that you're in right now. <laughs> okay. There we go. We did it. We did it. Okay. <laughs> coming back to the fold. All right. Okay. So call the medicine. We have it all inside us. Difficult. To, and the pain point is coming out of a painful relationship of a significant relationship. So I, I only say that because like my book is centered around or like the starting point for it is a painful divorce, but I don't just want to talk to people who are going through a divorce. You could come out of any kind of significant relationship and be in pain. So literally what I would like, this is how my brain works is like painful divorce. You can literally frame it where every breakup is a divorce, whether you're oh. married or not. Like whether you're married or not, you have energetically, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually bonded with this human being. And especially as a woman, which is the receptive body, the rece mm -hmm. more receptive being, you are literally taking that person's energy into your energetic system. Mm -hmm. and yes, so we define divorce. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is you define, it's your class. You define what divorce is. You can even start with that catchy thing. It's like, you know, who thinks divorce just happens when you end a marriage? Boom. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah, that's what it means. Actually, a divorce is any time you go through a separation romantically. Mm -hmm. so that's just, it's like kind of pulls them in a little hook. 
And now we're setting the stage for the transformation. Okay, so the pain point is divorce. What's the information you need to get them to the transformation? What do they need to know? So you start to set the stage. Did you know that every time you sexually connect with someone, you know, you are literally bringing their energy into the body. And this is just something I know from Kundalini yoga, Mm -hmm. a woman's center line, her energetic uh, arc line retains and holds um, a man's energetic, uh, holds his energy for at least seven years. If they've been sexually intimate, at least seven years, you are energetically connected and bonded with this human being. I had no idea. <laughs> Thanks. No one, yeah, people don't know this stuff because it's like subtle shit. And there's actually practices and techniques where you can speed up that process of releasing. So I'm not going to get into all that stuff, but. Is that for anything or only like, uh, I mean, are you, because this is really significant, right? When it comes to like abuse or. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I'm saying is what, when you talk about medicine, what's medicine? Like you can define what medicine is for people because we all have it inside us, but what is it? What are we calling upon when we drop into today's module, today's talk? So now the problem is you just went through the most painful experience of your life and not just that, but every relationship that you've had prior to that has been stacked on top of one another, going all the way back to your childhood with your parents. So now it's this huge problem, (laughs) Mm -hmm. right? And this can even be like a masterclass to sell people into your program. Like for me, what I just did was the first week of the program, which is basically the overview of the program is a masterclass in the sales call. Oh, so anyone who is already in the program, guess what? Be there for the masterclass because this is going to give you the overview of what you're going to get into for the rest of the seven weeks. So you do like, like you take the whole program and you kind of snip it like in like little bits and pieces. I love this. I'm having so much fun. I'm going to give you an example. Are you guys cool with an example? I, yeah. Can I, can I say something? Mm-hmm. You have beautiful energy. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Thank I you guys. It. We're all resonating. We're all on the same wavelength. Death and rebirth. <laughs> um, I have about 80 million um, tabs open. So give me one second. And I just love offering value and just like helping people because I tell you, I had to figure all this shit out and it took forever and I just fell on my face a lot. And um, if I can and Now help you're people, competent and confident. <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there? I want to get there. You will. You will. Yeah, I, will. <laughs> I got you. Elementum. I wish I had Elementum. The way that I started coaching was um, I took a coaching program. And then uh, what I did was I took a hypnosis thing. I just like, oh my gosh, I just dove into hypnosis. I love hypnosis. It's so good. And it's so powerful. It. And conversational hypnosis is the most powerful tool you'll ever learn in your life. I need to know. I would, I would love to learn more. Guess I, what? Uh, I have a program for it, right? It's like, <laughs> right? Is there one? Because I got, I got through, I got introduced to it through Mind Valley with like Marissa Peer and me too. Oh, you did? I, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've actually, I've worked with someone live around it to connect with some people who passed and who people who passed on and. That's how I actually got introduced to it. Mind Valley, Valley came later. Marissa Peer came later, but yeah, totally. So I actually am trained in RTT. Rapid oh, you are? Is theory. that what you do? So that, I took about half of it and I was like, I actually learned all I need to learn from this. And it's like, I don't like, I didn't even finish the program. I learned what I needed to learn. And I was like, just started well, Yeah, I've done it so many times. Part of me, I mean, I would like to learn, but I'm like, I don't think it's rocket science, but yeah, it's- It's um, pretty- for some people, they need to like, they really need to practice, but I've been kind of doing this shit all my life. So I just show up and people cry. Right. So once I learn the tool, I just pick it up and I do it. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is the basic overview of my masterclass and my program. 
So the master class I did was moving through the dark night of the soul and going through ego death safely without spending years in therapy. Right? What empath doesn't need that? <laughs> yeah. So the map of my program is I, the death of the old life. You meet and crack the shell through basically it's the oak to acorn concept that we learned in elementum, right? Emergence of true self. And then you find stability in your new self. And from here to here is your next level. This is the next level program. Um, so I just basically gave him an overview of these, these different pieces and told them a story of my life about how I moved to another country to be with my beloved. And I started Elementum. I paid 15 grand. I took a leap of faith, et cetera, et cetera. And at the end of the call, guess what? You're not spending 15 grand. I spent 50 in the past, you know, three years. This program's a thousand bucks and you're going to get this, 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 X, Y, and Z. And I uh, got five people signed into the program. Mm. Um, but like I said, I basically made the overview of my program, the webinar or master, I called it master class. And it became the guidepost for all the people who had already signed up. And it was basically week number one. Does that make sense, guys? I was understanding it slightly different. So mm -hmm. hit me with it. Okay. So I don't know, Tammy, if this is what you thought too, but in my mind, I was thinking this overview of what you're learning in class is the master class to then sell people into the program versus it being the first week of the class. Like I saw it as separate, mm -hmm. but you're saying it's together, it's the same. So this is something I, this is just how I did it for, for my thing that you can do oh. whatever you want. Yeah. Um, Russell Brunson, who owns ClickFunnels, um, mm -hmm. what he teaches is you have your flagship program. So you have your flat, you have your, your, your big program. But within that, each module or each piece is its own little program. So everything that you teach can be broken down into little splinters. You can pop a splinter out of the program and create a workshop to then sell people into the program. So whatever the big, biggest pain point is that you're solving in your program, you can create a workshop on it, give people a bunch of value and say, if you think this is a lot. If you think this is life changing, this is just a, this is like one percent of my program. So the program in in the vocabulary you're using is has the modules, and each module can become its own little class that you teach. And then, right? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. So uh, what I did for you guys, right? Which is um, training videos. So literally, what I did for you guys. Yeah with the, uh, the thing that I just sent this right here, this four video training yeah. and the PDFs, mm -hmm. this is week number nine of my program. Mm -hmm. I didn't even change anything. I just say, Hey, here's, here's, it's solving a problem. And then I linked it in with something else I did, which was week number 10 of my program. You're not buying the whole program because it, it's a whole fucking thing. I'm teaching you hypnosis, neurolistic programming, all this stuff. This is a free piece. And then I added some extra stuff and I gave it away for free. But mm -hmm. in giving it away for free, I got 25 people in the Elementum group to say, hey, I want it. I didn't have to do any extra work. So that's right. what I'm saying. So once you have your program, you, you have the slides, you have this, you can teach as many workshops and that you can do it over here. And for these people, guess what? These people didn't hear it yet. So now you can go to this group and teach the same exact thing, but now you have another opportunity to sell something. So it's like, how can you do the least amount of work and get the most amount of return and help the most people? Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like this is a lot. We're, this is good. We're, we're answering a lot of questions. Yeah, it's good for me. For me, where I get really stuck, James, is like the people, like I don't have people. So like, that's where I'm getting stuck a lot of times is like, who do I, who do I even sell to? Right. So that's where I, I, got I got, I get stuck a lot. Yeah. I got you. So that's another, that's another topic. We'll yeah. tune in with that. I want to, uh, I want to finish up. the outline. Yeah. Okay. And then go. that's a, I can give you a bunch of worksheets on finding your ideal client avatar. Right. But that's another problem. Okay. Um, 
but it's a legitimate legitimate problem and i've had that too so don't worry <laughs> i want to join that one too or i, I got to it's not my main for right now but yeah got you all right so let's tune back in with jen and your uh let's say just your first because once you have this framework you can apply it to everything so you have the problem you just went through a fucking painful divorce or a breakup whatever it is um we all have medicine inside of us so that's the information they need we all have medicine inside of us that'll help us through that difficult time so that's the information they need more information. Well, how do we find the medicine? What's the exercise I need to do? What are the questions I need to ask myself? What are the things I need to release? Right? What's the solution to my problem? And what information do I need to give them? Or do they need to uncover within themselves to solve the problem? And let me know when you're uh, done with the notes. So that's the solution piece. So the solution is basically you, you set up the problem. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. You give them all the background information they need. Mm -hmm. And then you provide a solution and then you hammer it home and give them an experience of it by walking them through an exercise. And that could be a question. It could be a breakout. It could be, um, you know, public shares, right. Which comes down into the next piece here which is once you know the theme, all your work is done. All of your, your workshop is taken care of. Your first week is done. You know what problem you're doing. You know the, the solution, the information, you're setting the stage. Then you come down to what style. And this is why group coaching is so easy, way easier than trying to make like a, an information program because you literally can ask two questions. If you have 10 people on the call, five people on the call, you can ask two questions and that's your entire workshop. And people will get their big aha moment. They'll be held maybe in an emotional release. They'll hear other people's perspectives, know that they're not alone. They're not the only ones, which is the biggest thing you could do for someone. And then you just have 30 seconds share. What was that experience like? And then you go into question number two or exercise number two. All right, guys, we're going to be doing this. Connect it back in with the medicine. Da, 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 da. Um, you know, send them into a breakout room. They have five minutes of peace to share with the question, with the prompt. Come back, 30 second shares. 90 minutes to two hours is already done. You wrap it up and you close the container. That's it. That's your whole program. Just do that each week. You right? do a two hour call every week. So you can do whatever you want. You can do a 60 minute call, a 90 minute call, two hour call. I love community. So um, that's kind of my shtick. That's like what separates me from other people. Some people will get on, they'll talk for an hour. They'll say, see you next week, guys. Here's the homework, right? But for me, what I've always wanted and needed was connection, was to be seen, heard, understood, loved, and validated. That's all the things I didn't get in childhood, right? And if you're working with women specifically, usually their biggest pain point is, he doesn't understand me. He doesn't see me. I feel misunderstood, right? I'm alone because no one gets me, mm. right? I feel crazy because everyone's telling me that I'm wrong. So if you could just allow someone to express themselves in their truth and vulnerability and authenticity and then be seen in that and not rejected or abandoned, that's healing their deepest wound. Mm -hmm. I am having this land because it's interesting. The last one I, before Elementum, the way I was, I was, I think, jumping straight into the create the modules yep. and, you know, and then hold an additional call. And so this makes it so much more organic for me. Yes. Um, and I think feels a lot more community based because you can, they can be part of the process of the program. And that's the beautiful thing that takes all the pressure off of you as a coach or a teacher. Yeah. It's like, listen, I'm just going to show up. I'm going to tell you a story about this pain that I overcame. Right. You, you wrote a book, Jen. It, you have the story. So take a little chapter, condense it down to a 10 minute story, give them the piece. Right. For me, I'm about to do a, a, a workshop on setting healthy boundaries. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell the story about how my dad would come to my work 
unannounced on my 11 hour shift. I would literally have like four or five back to back 11 hour shifts. He would just show up in the middle of the mall and say, Hey, uh, you, can you take a lunch? Two hours into my 11 hour shift. Hey, can you take a lunch? I didn't have any boundaries. So I was like, fine. And then we sit in a food court. He'd talk about China taking our jobs and God is blowing the trumpets and all this shit. And I, by the end of our conversations, I would either be livid and angry and one of us would walk off or I would want to ball my eyes out. And now I have another 10 hours to work. Yeah. James, it's, it's so funny. I just ha- brought this up on my master coach call, exactly this scenario with my father. So I'm laughing because I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. it sounds so similar. Yes. And you know how I solved the problem? Um, I had it. I had to cut him out of my life for two whole years. Mm. I was walking home and my girlfriend, I was, I was complaining, mm, you know, my dad, she's like, James, you always feel this way when you hang, when you see your dad, why do you do this to yourself? It's not healthy. And I sat in a tree and bawled my eyes out for like 30 minutes because I realized I couldn't connect with my father anymore, Mm. but super difficult. And this is what I'm saying. Your story is your medicine. So he's been homeless for 10 years. So we come and meet at a library. I list out all my nonviolent communication needs and all the things. And, you know, if, if we're going to connect, I need this and da, da, da. He took one look at it. He read like two sentences. He said, why are you doing this to me? Mm. And he said, it feels like you punched me in my stomach. Mm. So me speaking non-violently, he received as you punched me in the stomach. And at that point I knew I tried Mm. my best. I can't do it. It's, it doesn't work. It's him. It's not me. So Mm. I told him if I'm going to leave this with you, If you can't do this, if you can't meet my needs in this way, then I can't see you. Do not show up at my work ever again. Hmm. And he didn't. Two years goes by. I do so much inner work, coaching, men's work, all this stuff. He comes back into my life through my little brother. Shows up on like a winter night. He's homeless, trying to whatever. But because I did so much inner work, I didn't have the same kind of conversation because I could see all his defense mechanisms. And when it came up, I sidestepped them and I gave him love instead. Hmm. And then he get triggered and sidestep, come closer, love. And I was able to hold my boundaries. Hmm. So now I'm going to teach you my four layer, my four step process to like what the layers of boundaries are. Because most people think a boundary is putting up a wall. When in reality, a boundary is about how close can I allow this person in based on the trust that they, that, that they show me. Mm -hmm. so now they have a reason to listen to what you're talking about because you you're telling them i had your deepest pain and i solved it like this here's my four-step process Mm. does that make sense you got to get them emotionally connected and involved and the the way that we do that is by telling a really powerful emotionally driven story that resonates with them specifically so tammy you keep saying hmm Cause I'm feeling like it resonates with your pain point right now. Right. I'm like, can you just coach me, James? Come on. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sounds like uh, you're one step ahead for me for sure. And that's the point I want you guys to kind of drive yeah. home is the people you're going to be helping. Are you sometimes yesterday? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That one, that one I've had to learn big time because mm-hmm. You don't need to know everything, but just being ahead. And this is why you're on the call today, Tammy. Yeah. I got you. I got you. you. So Jen, just an overview and kind of recap, yeah. right? Tell us theme. What's the theme? Open the space, right? Three deep breaths is good enough. You can guide them through a little meditation. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to create sacred space, whatever that is for you, just make it. You do it every time. So it's Mm -hmm. easy for you. Then you are going to tell a a compelling story about their pain and your pain and how you got through it. So you're setting the stage so that they can actually, they're in a space to receive the information. And this is where learning conversational hypnosis really comes in handy. 
right? Because every time you tell a story, you're hypnotizing someone. You're bringing them into your world. So there, now this is how I solved it. Provide the solution, which leads to an exercise. Now the exercise is designed to give them an experience because information goes in and, in and out. But if they feel it in their heart and they have that, oh shit moment, that's when they're like something about that coach. Cause you can go on YouTube all day, but if you're in a group of people and you have a, an experience that changes your life, they're going to pay you. And if not, they're going to tell another, someone else to come and pay you. Does that make sense? From there. And this is the easiest part. You give one prompt. You say, um, what is the most painful memory you have about uh, not setting a boundary? And then you give everyone five to 10 minutes to share. And you just go around the circle and you just hold space. Maybe you do a little laser coaching, right? Maybe someone gets really choked up. You pull out your elementum tool. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's shake that energy out. Let's do it. Or you change their, their that you reframe something for them and it pops open their world. So what you're doing is you're creating a tremendous amount of authority. You're leading the space and you're giving people um, life-changing experiences in 10 minutes or less, right? And everyone's feeling heard and seen. So I've been in group spaces where all you get is 10 minutes. It's just, we're going to talk about shame today. Here's a couple prompts. You get 10 minutes and two minutes of feedback. Let's go for it. And I paid $800 for that for eight weeks. It's just 10 minutes. So the exercise part, when I'm hearing exercise, mm -hmm. we could really be talking about a question. Yes. Not so much an exercise. Like I, I come out of a lot of my corporate career has been in learning and development space, leadership development, executive coaching and, and those types of companies. Mm. So I haven't been a coach per se. So I have workshop exercise kind yes. of model in my head, go meet in a pair. We're going to talk about the da, 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 and you're going to write down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what I'm hearing you say is it's more around helping it land by having people think about it for themselves and talk about it in the space in this context. Yeah. So my job as a, a coach of coaches, training coaches, how to do their first ever group thing mm -hmm. or workshop is to make it as simple as possible so that they can get feedback and they can start to build competence and confidence. Yeah. So the simplest way, ask a question, go around the circle. You can go as deep as you want there. And this is i uh, I'll bring this up too. Um, there's this uh, really powerful exercise called dyads. And it's a yeah. form of communication. You've heard of dyads? Yeah, yeah. I got the, the PDF that you sent. What's it called? Yeah, it's called dyad. D-Y-A-D. -D. So I forget the, uh, the founder of the, the method, but basically um, communication is very surface level for most yeah. communication styles. It's like, oh yeah, we'll talk about this and we'll bounce over here and we'll bounce over here and we'll do this. A dyad is very strict structure and the purpose is to dive deep, not shallow. So what a, a really powerful concept to show you this if you heard of the five whys or the seven reasons why where it's like okay um I, I won't i won't go into it you guys understand it but the point is to ask the same question or a series of questions to get past the surface level bullshit okay. and stories you tell yourself Heavenly. down into the emotions and down into the real reason mm -hmm. right so have you ever done this tammy i have I have done this. In fact, this is part of my program I created is like, why are you here? Why, why do you want this? Seven layers deep. So let's, do, do you guys want to have an experience? Sure. Sure. Yeah. I'll show you how freaking easy this is. And like I said, uh, for especially new coaches, 
my aim is to take all the pressure off of you and actually put it on the people in the group. So it's like, you're not doing anything. You're just bringing everyone together and giving them a direction. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So let's imagine uh, Jen and Tammy, you guys are in a dyad right now. So the basic format is just sit up nice and straight. Take a nice deep belly breath in. And what I'd love for you to do is just pin each other on the screen. So it's just you guys. Tammy, can you pin uh, Jen on the screen? So it's just her. How do I do that? So just uh, click on her picture in the top right-hand corner, there's three dots. And just oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah. okay. So um, we'll do something. I, I always go for the jugular, so we won't do that. Right. I'm like, tell me something you're ashamed of. Right. <laughs> but we're not, we're not going to do that. Um, we'll use one of the uh, tools and techniques from Elementum, which is like emotional licitation. So deep belly breath in. So Jen, you're going to ask the question first. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to be person A and Tammy will be person B. Jen, all you're going to say is Tammy. Let's see. Tell me about something that makes you sad. Okay. Not yet. Okay. And then Tammy, you're just going to tell her about something that makes you sad. And when you're done, Jen, you're going to say, thank you. You're not going to be like, oh, <laughs> you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, me too. No, it's just, <laughs> thank you. Very clean. And then you're going to switch. Tammy's going to be the asker and you say, Jen. Tell me about something that makes you sad. She's going to share something. You say, thank you. And you just switch. And we'll do like two or three rounds and see what happens. Okay. Sound good? All right. So deep belly breath in. So Jen, go ahead. Tammy, tell me something that makes you sad. Um, not having a very close relationship with my parents. I mean, close when it comes to openness. Thank you. And then I say. Yep, now Tammy, you say, Jen, tell me something that makes you sad. Tell me something, Jen, that makes you sad. Seeing animals abused. say thank you oh thank you jen beautiful now let's do two more rounds and just see what okay. happens go for it tammy tell me something that makes you sad um giving up on myself jen tell me something that makes you sad mm. Having spent most of my life holding myself back. Mm, thank you. Um, now, Jen, one more. you can ask. Yep. Mm. Tammy, tell me something that makes you sad. <sighs> Seeing other people suffer. Thank you. What about you? Tell me something that makes you sad. The state of the world we live in. Thank you. All right, now deep belly breath in. I know. <laughs> you guys did so good. So good. So now what I'd love to do is just have a quick 30 second to 60 second share from Jen. What was that experience like for you? It brought up a lot of sadness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I, I obviously I got sad. Um, and it was easy to come up with things that make me sad because there's, I feel that in my heart. There's so much in this world that makes me sad right now. Mm. Yeah. 
So deep belly breath into that. And I invite you just to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Just close your eyes, deep belly breath in. And just find and feel all those places in your body that are carrying and holding sadness, that have been carrying it for a long time. And with your intention, send those places love. Because all those sad places deserve to be held, to be seen, to be understood and validated. All of you is welcome here, my friend. And it's okay, even if more emotions come up. It's all okay. Just send in love. Taking those deep breaths in. Holding yourself in those places that maybe you weren't held when you were younger. That's right. And just imagining a big ball of energy and just love, it's love hovering above your head. And notice what color, what color is that energy of love that's hovering around your head? Hello? Yellow, yeah. And I want you to imagine breathing. It's important that you breathe it in down to the top of your head, just like a big funnel. And breathe all that yellow love into all those places where you feel sadness. And breathe it in like water, filling up a water bottle. All the way, a deep belly breath, filling up and out. Breathing it in like liquid, filling up a test tube. Deep breath in, all that yellow energy coming, washing away that sadness. <sighs> and one more time, filling yourself up all the way to the top, like a hot air balloon, filling up with warm, cool love. Letting all that sadness disappear. That's right. And when you're ready, coming back to the moment, coming back to the call. <laughs> And how are you feeling, my friend? Good. Yeah. Calmer. We, we got you. We got you. <sighs> and Tammy, first mm. of all, Jen, do you feel complete? Yeah. That was such a beautiful share. Just want to acknowledge you. And I see your ability to go there. And that's why people need you. That's your medicine. Right there. Your ability to feel. Right? That gives other people permission to feel. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all the dark clothes. Well, death and rebirth. I love it. So Tammy, 30 seconds, 60 seconds share. What was that experience like for you? Oh, uh, emotional, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling it today in general. So um, it was really nice and beautiful for me. Um, opening it was opening mm -hmm. yeah when you say opening describe opening um it's as if um it was an energy space that was allowed to be open and crack and it allowed for for the emotions to kind of come through for me mm -hmm and feel them yeah what do you usually do with those emotions um i probably i i probably recycle them mm -hmm. um i'm learning to release them yeah love it you're doing a great job yeah so good there's a lot of people that can't even go to the sad place, right? They pick up the pizza or they pick up the weed or they pick up the alcohol or they find somebody to have sex with, right? But you guys just went there and I'm super proud of you. Mm. Yeah. All right. So one more deep breath in. Let's shake it out. Let's do the elementum thing. <laughs> look, look at all of us. The fucking weird all of us with the hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> beautiful so i don't know if you guys noticed 
or not. But I just did exactly what I taught you guys to do. All right? We're just doing an exercise. It was just three, three rounds. I set the timer for 10 minutes. And then I tell people, tell me what you're ashamed of. <laughs> you just go back and forth, back and forth. Back, and everyone's in their own little breakout room, bawling their eyes out, getting seen, not being judged, connecting with another human being, mm. building a bond. And then you come back, everyone's teared up. I do laser coaching. I make sure everyone's okay. You know, pull it out, transmute the energy, whatever tool I use. And then guess what? Everyone's like, that was the most profound experience I've ever had in my life because no one's ever listened to me. Yeah. All I did was say, ask me a question. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. This, as you can see, would you like, if there was a whole workshop just around sadness, would you guys pay for that? Oh yeah. I mean, just letting it go. Yeah. Yeah. Grief. Grief. Mm-hmm. Grief. Yeah. Oh, yes. So and you what know what I love about grief, by the way, is that you automatically think it's just death. Totally. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I could use that in, in my own program, put that in there. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You can make a whole program just doing diets. Like it's really, this is what I'm saying. It's, it's really easy. You talk for 10 minutes about an emotion or whatever. For me, I love relationships. It's really, uh, that's, that's what I love. So it's this easy, guys. Let's, uh, in this PDF, I got it from um, uh, my, uh, what's his name? My mentor is named Satin Raja. And he runs the Accelerated Evolution Academy, as you can see here. And uh, he also runs Warrior Sage Dojo. Um, it's a free Facebook community. Um, it goes over all like everything you need to know about a dyad. And this is for relationships. So imagine sitting in front of your beloved, right? And you ask in, you know, Tanum, tell me something you'd like or love about me. <clears throat> and then tell me when then you say, thank you. Tell me something you think we agree upon. You get on the same page with each other. Tell me something about yourself you want me to understand. Right here, you're meeting basic needs. Seeing someone, agreeing with them, validating them, and then tell me something you want me to understand. The biggest pain in relationships is not being understood. Uh I just want you to understand that I love you, but you're too stupid, (laughs) right? You do this for 40 minutes, it's going to transform your relationship. You do it for 40 minutes every day for 30 days, you're going to be enlightened. And then you come down here. This is another one. Tell me what love is. Tell me what love is not. I love that one. Tell me what a wife is. Ooh. Tell me what a wife is not. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a time you felt loved. Tell me about your relationships with men or women. Tell me how you want to be helped. You guys, you have every, every workshop you can ever possibly want to run. (laughs) It's right there. On one PDF. (laughs) You set someone in a room for 40 minutes. You set a timer. You go meditate. You go have a cup of tea. You sit in the room if anyone has questions. And you just ran a whole... He runs eight hour workshops doing just this. Wow. So if you guys ever feel overwhelmed with running a workshop or a program, like I said, you don't need to be a teacher. You don't need to be a guru. You don't need to heal anyone. You just give them powerful tools so that they uncover their own shit. And then you hold space and then provide like the bumpers so they, they don't go in the gutter. Make sense? Yeah. How does that resonate for you guys? Yeah, it, it, it takes a lot of uh, pressure off, I think, because I think we overcome, it's not as like complicated as we make it out to be. 
And yeah. then like your PDFs in itself can become these questions at the end Easy. of the day. Or the ones that you said exercise, right? Like your exercise mm -hmm. it oh. can even be like eventually just the question written out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to, yeah, this is good. How are you feeling about everything, um, Jen? Well, it's, it's fascinating to me because um, the person I'm working with, you know, she's like, oh, you just have to figure out how much time you need. Then I'm like, no, -uh. you know, I think I'm complicating it. But when I hear this kind of format, especially if you throw in some dyads and then come back together as a group, it's like, it could be so easy. You create the structure, they create the content. Mm -hmm. You're creating, yeah. you're, you are, you are the cup. This is a candle, but let's imagine this is the <laughs> container. They're, they're the liquid inside. They're filling it with themselves. You just create a solid, stable container, open that sacred space, make them feel safe and vulnerable. And then they're going to fill it with themselves. That's a part of hypnosis too. It's being artfully vague right? You don't want to tell the person something. You want to give them an outline and then they make it their own. Everyone, if I said, like what I did with that, imagine an energy, a ball of energy above your head. It's filled with love. What color is it? I mean, I what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that it's the same thing that we're doing basically on intuitive one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's just that we come in with more of a a structure, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's the same thing. We're just, they're answering the questions. They're, they're creating the. Yeah. So that's like, that's phase one. So think of this as iterations. You haven't created a program yet. So what you want is you want to get some money in the bank and you want to get some people in the chair. Right. Right. So you're saying I'm doing a six week program on X, Y, and Z. You have an outline, you have a structure, you have the bare bones, you have an idea. I don't even like literally, I, this is just, I'm not saying do this. This is how my brain works. Um, I have the idea. I let it stew over in my brain for a week. I think about it. I do some research and I just play with ideas in my head. And then the day of I make the thing. I'm usually, I usually finish all my stuff like 10 minutes before I go on, but because <clears throat> I know the structure. I can do a workshop like this. I can just do a workshop because if you noticed, what did I do? I literally just followed the same structure that I walked you guys through. Why are we here? Outlining workshops. Okay. What's the story? What do we, how do we do it? What's the information you need in order to do it? And then exercise. You just did it. Now you have an experience. Now you get it. You don't just know it. You understand it. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're like, oh my God, it's so easy. I can do it too. That's what I wanted you to feel by the end of the call. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. I can do it too. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> and then um, James, do you record them? And then whoever can't show up, just that's basically the same idea. Yeah, just make it to the call. And then once you once you've done that. And you're like, you get some testimonials and you change people's lives. Now you can start iterating. The first one was a rough outline. Now you know what works. Now you know, oh, that other thing kind of didn't hit home or oh, I kind of want to improve that or I want to add this. I want to take this out. I want to make it eight weeks instead of six because it was, wasn't enough time and I can do more and it's fun. So then you do the second round. And what you do is you say, hey, for those in the first round, if you want to do the second round, you can do it for 25% of the cost because you already took it, but it's new and approved. So now you have a retainer client and you can charge more because you're giving more and you're more confident in yourself. You know, it works. You have testimonials. And that's when you can, this is when I started creating um, uh, what you would call modules where it's like, you know, what works, you know, what doesn't, and you add in what you need. Now, instead of spending time on the call explaining everything, 
I just do like little, you know, PowerPoints my first round. Here's the thing. Here's the concept. Here's the story. This is what we're doing. Now you can give all the background information as homework before the call. You make a video. So when you get on the call, now it's all practical application. So now you're giving even more value because you have time to answer questions. You have time to workshop. You have time to go back and forth. You have time to do more exercises. And they've done the homework before you even got on the call with the videos. And you only have to create that once. Now you can do it as many times as you want. Mm. So the people who retook it have already done it, basically. So they don't have to watch the videos. And then you have people. But that's the thing is the first time there's no videos. Right, right. Right. right? So the second time, as you go each week, you can say, okay, by Tuesday, I'm going to have the videos up. So you give yourself a deadline, you make the videos, they watch it for the next three days before the class or the call, and now you're on the call. So you're literally making the program as you go. You get paid to create a program as opposed to creating a program, hoping someone will buy it. I'm sorry, I have to, oh shit, I missed it, Never mind. <laughs> what happened, you had a call? I was expecting a call from uh, my lawyer and they just called. <laughs> Do you want to go take care of that? Um, yeah, in a few minutes. I have to watch my time. So this is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. Um, Jen, I know you have some some other specific questions. Yeah, do you guys feel confident? Do you guys feel confident with um, creating that outline and then the closing of the container? You know, after everything, you wrap everything up, make sure everyone's okay. Right. I always like to say if I'm going to open someone up, I make sure I zip them up before they leave. Mm -hmm. Right. So you close the sacred space, everyone take a deep breath in, walk them through a little guided meditation, um, have them step outside of the container. You can do what, what uh, Preston does, everyone puts your hand in the thing, boom, and it's just a little ritual to say we're done, right? So you can do whatever you want at the end of the thing. Maybe you can play a song that you play every, every time when you leave. It's just closing the space and saying yeah. we're done. Okay. So are there any questions on that? And I know that Jen, you wrote me a couple questions and I'd be happy to, to touch on those for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or we can set up like a 30 minute mm -hmm. another time too. Like, I, uh, do you have to go right now? Um, I'm kind of feeling like I need to call this lawyer back. He's been trying, mean, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be available now, but, um, I do need to, to make that call. Okay. So let's, let's I, I have another, I have trio let's take, actually. Let's take a deep belly breath in. <gasps> yeah. You need a breath there, Jen. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, Oh my God, the lawyer called. Like I didn't it's think he was going to call and he called. It's all okay. It'll be okay. You can call oh. him back and it's all, it's all, it's all going to be what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So um, Tammy, do you have any questions? No, this was really great for me to pop in, honestly, because um, I was not thinking it was going to be possible for me to start doing this now because I was like, oh, it's too overwhelming. Um, you can start doing it tomorrow if you wanted. Yeah, I think I could. Even just the, all the info that we were getting from Elementum, really, in itself. Guilt, shame, all five of the elements you can make. You can just make a whole program on the elements. Yeah, it's crazy. You can't. So we're talking about fire. Next week is water. And you just give them a the little exercise, fill out the sheet, talk about the aspects. What's your biggest challenge here? Send, slap them on their butt, send them on their way. It's so yeah. easy. How much do you know? Like, is there a sweet spot price point that you've witnessed in your experience? Like, or maybe it doesn't matter because every program is different. So with me, when I'm doing a, this is just my own little thermostat. If I'm doing a beta test, I usually do four to six weeks and I do 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, look guys, you know, this is, you're giving me value by showing up and giving mm -hmm. me referrals and testimonials and feedback so I can make this the best version possible. Um, so I'm going to give you a discount. If you don't get it now, it'll be 1500 or $2,000. Right. So if you come in now, it's 500 bucks, even Steven, um, you can take the next iteration, which is better either for free or for 
off or 20, whatever it is, whatever you want to do. Um, I find my sweet spot is 500 bucks and then a thousand to $2,000 for a group program is where I've been sitting. Hmm. And that's the, uh, it varies between eight to 12 weeks for you on the. I would say four to 12 weeks. Yeah. Cause if I just want to prove a concept and just like, I'm doing a bunch of three, three week workshops with the collaborative coaches just mm -hmm. to get some, you know, 300, 400 bucks in, you know, a person and just practicing my offers, I'll make three workshops up and I'll say, Hey, we're doing, you know, setting healthy boundaries as an empath. Hey, we're doing creating your click funnel thing for coaches, um, mm. you know, 300 to 500 bucks. Gotcha. So it's four to six weeks for a beta test for 500. Mm -hmm. And that would be everybody showing up for a weekly call. Um, I'm guessing 90 minutes seems like in my mind, 90 minutes seems just in my mind like that. The thing is, is you'll find your sweet spot when you do it. Right. So for me, I don't like holding group space unless it's two hours. Cause I like, I, oh, that makes I'm, sense. A, I'm a teacher. So someone asks a question, I go off on a fucking tangent and now we're, <laughs> and it's like, oh, we didn't get to everything. And it's like, does everyone have an extra 30 minutes? I know we've been here for two hours, but you know, this is going to change your life. You know? Yeah. So that's who I am. Yeah. I just talk, but for someone else, 60 minutes is like, we're getting in laser focusing. I'm going to give you the thing and you're going to get the homework and you're going to leave. Mm. It depends on the style. If you're teaching or if you're facilitating two different things, make sense. Both group space, but you can teach, you can give an hour long presentation with some engagement and give them homework, or you can open them up emotionally, hold space. And it's two different outcomes that you're looking for. Make sense. Yes. And speaking of that, um, I noticed on your screen share, there were like you wrote, uh, there was two, two kinds of styles. One was give them an exercise and an overview and yep. a 30 second share inside, but the style number two, I'm curious what that was. Yeah, I didn't do very good at explaining that, right? So Style number one is two exercises, two shares, and a 30 second how to go for you. Style number two is you literally have a topic, same thing, 10 minute topic, uh, highlighting the problem information, why we're here. And then style number two is you give them a prompt and give everyone 10 minutes a piece to share. So uh, it's literally just, you know, a group share about your deepest father wound. Go. 10 minutes a piece, share whatever's on your heart, ask for feedback. And uh, we'll have, we have time for two minutes a piece um, where at the end people can ask you questions or uh, give you support, or you can ask for perspective. And, you know, if you have 10 minutes, 10 minutes a piece and 10 people on the call, you know, that's, I don't know how many minutes is, that is 10 times. That's a hundred minutes. That's almost two hours. Just one question. One question, everyone gets to share, and people will pay you uh, 500 to 1,000 bucks for a six to eight week program. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And then you just close the container with a little meditation, a little ritual, a couple deep breaths, um, you know, the kaboom. I, I put on a song, it's we're on the next level. Uh, da, 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 da. And I just get everyone to dance because I'm a dancer and everyone feels great. It's a nice way to close it up. It's consistent. So people are like, it's also brainwashing them. I'm on the next level, right? So uh, like I said, I'm a hypnotist. I work on a lot of different levels. Um, you can do a two word checkout. What are you checking out with? What's your biggest takeaway? Mm -hmm. And that's it, right? So that's, uh, that's a full structure for a two hour workshop that you can do whenever you want. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, James. Yeah. You're awesome. I love you guys. Like I said, like even from the, the moment we started, we were like the dark Trinity. <laughs> and, um, dark angels. <laughs> dark angels. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, Jen, Where are you located, by the way? Where do you live? Right now I'm in Toronto. Oh, nice. Okay. 
yeah and if you guys um are you guys okay with me sharing this as like a, a teaching piece so other people can check it out yeah. yeah okay so jen what i would love is um this will be recorded to your space however it is um if you could upload it to google drive and send me a copy or something mm -hmm. uh, or if it's on your zoom cloud uh just send me a link and that would be really really beneficial for me okay Yay. Okay. And then um, maybe we'll just, I know Tammy had another. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I know I have a call with, we, you can join that 